I'm shooting this video for the text at Chris's coffee service. I called on Friday, the 27th of June. Uh, I have a Vertrano uh, 2B, Quick Mill, a Quick Mill Vertrano 2B. <clears throat> I called on Friday because I was talking about uh, a problem I'm having with the temperature going up and down, um, especially on the brew, uh, the brew temperature getting up to about 203. Um, I'd had this. Uh, I had uh, when I was talking to the tech, and I'm not sure. I can't remember the tech's name. I'm not sure if I got it, but um, I had put it in 20 amp mode, and so we dropped it back to 15 amp mode. Uh, and I'm checking all the settings. I also am going to check the thermostat. But when I dropped it back into the 15 amp mode, it started to do something I had not seen it be do before. Um, and one of the reasons I put it in the 20 amp mode is, is because I did notice that the temperature was starting to creep on me, uh, especially the, uh, the group head temperature or the, 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 uh, the group head coffee uh, setting. It was always getting up to around 203 and then coming back down. Um, but so I'm going to power it on and let it go through the power on sequence so you guys can see what it's doing. Okay, so there's our 101, and then we're starting to heat. Um, and I do always find it interesting that the coffee boiler reads one temperature to begin with and the steam boiler, even though it's been sitting overnight, reads a totally different temperature. Um, but as it heats, I'm just going to let it uh, probably pause this uh, film on and off as it heats um, because it's going to take the heating process takes a while and you just don't need to see numbers going by. Uh, it'll be more, much more interesting when it actually gets up to uh, closer to temp. Okay, the temperature is right around 199 now and as you can there it is 201. Notice that it's still heating though even though it's 201. And that's what I have the temperature set to. And it's creeped up a little bit to 202. Now we're just waiting for the steam boilers to continue heating. I'll let this go for a few more seconds here. And notice the steam boiler heats up. We'll just see. I'll let it go through one sequence of where the uh, the coffee boiler, the brew head, the coffee brew head boiler will drop below 201, which is the target temperature, which is what I have T1 set to and see what it uh, how it reacts and see if it will continue to fire even though it reads 201 as it's heating it back up. So the temperature's dropped down to 199, even though it's still heating. It may even drop all the way down to 197. We'll have to see. There's 198. So now it's taking on the full priority heat. Even though it says 201, it's still continuing to heat for a little bit. And now up to 203.
204. Now it's going to start to come down. And it bounces between 203 and 204. And then we'll come down to 201 and do that process again. I'm going to pause it here and wait till we get closer to the brew temp uh, to the steam temperature coming up. Okay, we're getting close now. It's 246. And I have T2 set to 255. There's 252, 3, and 204 up top, 255, 6, even though it's not heating, temperature sensor says the temperature is continuing to rise. And that has gone. Okay, that's the end of the video. It didn't get it didn't do it today, but in the past a couple of times I have actually seen it go all the way to 268 on the steam temp. I let off steam, it cools back down, and it doesn't go back up to that temperature. All right.